Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Selector Sub. Welcome back. How can we re reproduce a bug? And for that, like we have to raise a bug in Jira or any bug management tool. tool. So for that, like how can we get these steps and a screenshot automatically? This is a very trivial kind of problem and repetitive task, which nobody likes to recall all the steps what they have followed to reach a certain point so that that bug can be reproduced and taking a screenshot highlighting the field that is also a like very very tedious task let me show you uh, where we face this challenge so i hope like screen is shared okay so uh, suppose we are on any uh, website here let's say on google.com and we are doing some exploratory testing or search functionality testing functional testing basically so called so suppose here we search for something. Let's say we search for selector sub. Then we are going to some link after scrolling down. Then suppose uh, if we right click here on selector sub, then suppose we click on here practice page. Then we are uh, let's say entering here company name. And then we are uh, trying to enter this first name here. And you see that if you notice that this first name and enter last name, both these fields are disabled. So here we have to raise a bug that these fields are disabled. Now to raise a bug, we need the steps what we have followed from the very first, like first we open google.com, then we search for something, then we scroll down, then we click on a link, then we landed on this selectorsub.com website. There we right list somewhere. So lots of steps we have followed till to reach here. Now we need all those steps to raise a bug. Like for an example, if we have to uh, raise a bug in any bug management tool, let's say Bugasura, if we have to uh, raise some uh, bug here, <clears throat> like if we have to add an issue here. So we need the description, we need the summary, and then we need the screenshots as well, like uh, how to raise the bug. So generally, like what was the issue and in which field? So generally we take, how we take the screenshot? We take the screenshot like this. Then we uh, highlight the field, isn't it? We do this way. But this used to take a lot of time, all this process. Can we get this screenshot, all those steps automatically? Otherwise we will be like writing steps manually, like first open google.com that website go to that website then uh, search for something like search for selector sub then uh, scroll down and click on that link right something like that we need to uh, we have to write all the steps manually like this can we can't we get all these steps and a screenshot everything automatically so that we can raise a bug immediately without wasting any time yes we can do that now we have a tool, we have this innovation, innovative tool which can solve this problem automatically. So what you have to do, you have to just get this tool test case studio installed in your system. To install this is very easy. We already have installed it. Just go to this link, test case studio here and for whichever browser you want, you can just click on install and install it in your browser by default, uh, like, Already, it is actually already installed in my system. So it is showing remove for Chrome. And this is the logo here, you see. By default, it might not show here on the top. So you have to pin it to toolbar. And then you can start using it. So what, how you will get the uh, these steps in a screenshot to raise a bug automatically? Let's see. You just have to click on this test case studio logo here. Click on this. The window will open something like this. And now you start doing your testing same way so let's say we search for selector sub we scroll down we click on this link and you will see that each and everything will be getting recorded automatically in test case studio window <clears throat> now right click here we did right click last time here so we did right click then we click on this practice page link then we have entered some value here in uh, company field. Then we click on this uh, first name. Then we click on last name. So these were the two fields which were inactive and we were not able to enter the value. So for this, we want to raise a bug. 
Now you see open test case studio window. Here we have all these steps automatically generated. We can simply copy this and go back to your uh, bug management tool. Here you can paste them and you see all of them are listed down here. So this has been automatically raised. We need not to write any single step. Here you have, you see that for each step we got this screenshot. So suppose we need this screenshot for that, uh, click on first name field. So you see that the everything is highlighted here. If you want to download this, you can just click on this and you have all the downloaded screenshots here. <clears throat> So suppose click on first name, this uh, is screenshot you need here. You can simply drag and drop here in attachments and your bug will be raised very much automatically. <clears throat> or you can just like browse from here. First name, let's say. And that's how you can quickly raise a bug like first name field is not editable. quickly your bug can be raised. So this is how, this is quickly, this is how very quickly you can raise a bug in any bug management tool from, with the help of Test Case Studio, you get all these steps, all these screenshots, each and everything you get it here. This is very, very helpful, very much time saver. So this is Test Case Studio, which can help you guys to get the steps and screenshot automatically to reproduce the bug. And if you need like, next level information you need more information than this then of course like you have the test case studio pro in that you get the uh, like when you will be performing some steps let's say you are uh, entering here something and then clicking on these fields here so you see that you get the url you get the logs and a lot more things you will get in uh, <clears throat> pro version like you will get the logs as well so you get the logs you get the url for each and every steps screenshot and all those things in the uh, pro version so if you need a lot more information you want to save more time you want to become more productive more productive and you want more information then you can of course upgrade to pro version and all these things you will find from the selector sub website here in the if you go to home page you will see that here is the test case studio pro uh, sorry test case studio which is the free version and here is the test case studio pro which is the paid version so whichever you want you can take it so this way it will help you guys a lot to uh, get these steps and a screenshot automatically to reproduce a bug, to file a bug in bug management tool like Jira, Bagasura, and whichever tool you are using. I hope this will help you guys a lot to save a lot more time. This is absolutely safe and secure plugin, very helpful five-star rated tool. You can see that here more than 10,000 active users already using it. And this is very, very helpful. It is featured by Chrome Store. You can see that follows recommended practices for Chrome Store. So it's absolutely safe and secure and very much uh, recommended by all the trainers. With that, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope this video will help you guys a lot. If you are new here to the Selectors of YouTube channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming updates on innovations. Thank you.